I have the complete support of Mr. President. Mr. President appointed me as Minister of Aviation, and I will not, I will not be a lame duck minister. All of those um, rhetorics you have heard before, they were the rhetorics that um, certain individuals used to promote uh, the, the corruption I was talking about. If agencies who were supposed to do their jobs, they were efficient enough, then these issues would not be going on. So why am I a supervisor over these agencies? Am I a lame duck supervisor? If I clearly see that something wrong is going on, you think, I mean, what is the solution? You mean I should stand arms akimbo? I should be helpless? Or what? Are they in a better position to interpret the law as much as I am, as I can interpret the law? A member of the INABA, more than three decades of active practice of law, they want to interpret the law to me? <laughs> Come on. But you I know, don't think, I don't think, I think those few voices have been silenced by the fact that we have made considerable progress. They were not loud voices. They were voices, there were very, very few voices within the industry that tried to say the minister should keep off. But as I speak with you, you know, the industry is at one that these reforms are necessary, these issues we are tackling are necessary, and I think we are all on the same page now that we need to confront these issues as, you know, frontally as possible. Well